Well, hey fam, happy Read a Strong Wednesday. I have to tell you, I love these Wednesdays because it's the hardest day of the week for me. And it keeps me on track and knowing that we're working on these things together uh, makes it a lot easier on me. So I hope it's doing the same for you. Today, I'm covering something that's really important that uh, we avoid because we don't know enough about and it's sugar. I'm gonna teach you three things that you did not know about sugar that you need to know. And I'm gonna teach you three ways to navigate it to help you be healthier, lose fat, and have a much better mental mindset. Digging right in, I think it's important to just slow down and really realize the information behind sugar. Because a ways ago, like when I was growing up in the 80s, um, it was like sugar was bad, right? Um, oh, sorry, fat was bad, forgive me. Fat was bad, fat was bad. Um, even though fat is one of your three core macros that your body needs to live, thrive, and survive. Um, but we said it was bad. I don't, I, I will not blame the we in this five minutes because I don't have enough time. But what we did, when you take out fat, by the way, like who doesn't love butter? Who doesn't love sour cream? Who doesn't love creamer, right? Fat tastes good. When you take the taste away, you have to replace it with something which became sugar. And I think a lot of food companies thought, what a great way to go about it and create flavor and sell more items off the shelves because they're fat free. Well, what this do did was royally mess up um, our metabolisms, our systems, our hormones, our energy levels, and our moods, especially mine. So um, I wanted to take you through three pieces of information. If you ever do this with me, you know I have everything written down. Three pieces of information that you need to know when sugar is in your body. And just for the record, I have bananas. This is sugar. There's sugar. This is okay. Natural sugars that come in your fruits and your vegetables, all of that is great. None of that should, be, and I have a random banana here. <laughs> all of those kinds of sugars are okay. Don't overthink them, okay? They're natural. Your body needs them. Your brain only runs on sugar. But what starts to happen when we're picking through, you know, last week's Halloween candy, even if it's just a little bit, even if like, oh, just one Kit Kat here or whatever it becomes, or one sugary drink there, your body's ability um, to overeat goes through the roof. And the reason this happens is because when you're ingesting that, it becomes like a party in your brain and your brain stops signaling full signals to your, to your stomach. So your body basically is like, oh, your brain function is flying, but your body is not participating in letting the rest of your body know that it's full. So that bit of sugar, uh, it's frankly why when you're drinking wine at dinner, you're like, oh my God, I just feel great. I'm not that full. Yeah, because your body is having a party up here and it's not letting your stomach know that it's full. So that's number one, okay? Number two, a little bit more technically speaking, but on a cellular level, right? The cells in our body, they start to have dysfunction. So they are not able to um, uptake the sugar like they're used to. It's called insulin resistance. Your body has got so much sugar in it, and it's not sure how much insulin to produce. And so then it starts taking in sugar, which then all the sugar molecules are hanging out, which what is what leads ultimately to fat, okay? So when your body at a cellular level doesn't have the ability to take up sugar anymore, it starts to store in our body and spills on the outside of our pants, okay? So think about that, because it's real. Um, my final one, which is pretty straightforward, I opened this up saying, when you have macros, you need all of them, but when you have in, in most um, added sugar products, you don't have protein, and protein is what takes the longest to digest, which makes your body feel the most satiated and satisfied. So you're not having protein or very much protein in any of that Halloween candy, right? You don't have very much protein, wink, AKA zero protein, in your wine, in your apple juice, stuff like that. So when that happens, it's not filling, and you end up having more meals throughout the day that are not, um, that's so you going over your calories and oftentimes we end up turning to more sugar because what goes up must come down. And when you're in that crash, you ever feel that like, oh, I just need like a, like a great, like a sweet treat or like a coffee. I just need a little something. That is why, okay? Because the protein's out. And frankly, when you're low on protein, you're also usually low on fiber in this case. So keep that in mind. So I'm approaching 4.45. I'm trying to do this in five minutes or less, but I'm gonna go a little over today. The three things you need to know. One, when you are drinking, it can be wine, it could be juice, it could be milk, 
Guys, 12 grams of sugar are in every cup of milk. That is for 2%, 1% and skim. So if you feed your kids milk, you're giving them tons of sugar in a liquid form through the milk. Just keep that in mind. When you do that, there's you have to realize that there's no fiber to go with it. There's no there's nothing to signal to your body that we need to break this down. So what I would suggest is two things. One, take a look at that picture that I posted in this email, okay? Look at all the sugar in those items. Please, number one, limit your sugary drinks or two, dilute them. It's not that hard. When I was doing vodka tonics and switched, I was doing half tonic, half soda water. I didn't even notice the difference. And I'm not saying go diet. I'm saying lower, okay, dilute it. And if you can't dilute your Coca-Cola or your Pepsi or whatever you choose, then have the one and lower the amount per day. Just that will change your world. I promise you, I had contestants on Biggest Loser coming and drinking in 90 plus ounces of soda a day. Just by changing that one behavior, not getting rid of it, please keep your soda. I didn't say get rid of your sugary drinks. I said lower them, lower or dilute, and it made a world of a difference for those contestants. Number two, as I was alluding to, there's no fiber in these drinks, so there's nothing that signals your body to start breaking down that sugar. So before I go out cocktailing, before um, or if I'm having or, you know orange juice at my meal, I always make sure I have a little food with it. I always have a little snack. I have a little bit of fruit. I have some nuts. I have something going on in my body. So when I have that sugary drink, I am able to break it down. It is massively important that you start to think about this. It could be jerky. It could be... Gosh, it could be a celery stick. I don't care. But eat something before you put those sugary drinks in your mouth. Don't just go with the drink and cruise because you're setting yourself up for fat gain and struggling with insulin response. And finally, I want you to trust fat. Trust fat again. When you see high fat, low sugar, it's a good thing. Take, for instance, super coffee. I've talked to you about that on some of my social media these guys have put zero added sugar in their coffee, but there is fat in there. There's MCT oil. Why? Because your body needs fat to burn fat. So please consider that. Use that fat. Use the protein to be satiated, to burn more fat, and take away that added sugar, which is going to mess up your system. I mean, I'm telling you, and you will all agree, we are all cranky when we come down from that sugar high, okay? So really take this seriously. Take it into consideration, especially in these holidays months, especially with that leftover candy. I'm telling you, donate that shit. Don't leave it around your house. If your kids want some month, then pick a piece each and get it out of there. You don't need it. Start fresh and know that going into the holidays, okay? Um, I'm also including a link here for Super Coffee. They're, they're running out of their maple pumpkin spice drinks. So if you want that creamer, which is sugar-free, or that coffee, it's like 45% off the, any of those maple pumped drinks. So uh, I made sure that was still going on. I wanted to make sure I let you know. It's a great way to have a sweet treat. You could even warm up the the the, the coffee I do in the mornings, the maple pump coffee. And I, it reminds me of like a chai like latte and there's zero sugar in there and you still get the yum yum. Okay, I love you guys. Eight minutes, I did my best. I love you. I'll see you next Wednesday and have a great week.